Hello and welcome to the demo to Martha is Dead, a dark first-person psychological horror game set in Italy in 1944. This is a game that's meant to blur the lines of reality, superstition and the tragedy of war. It's from the developer of The Town of Light, which is a game that I played on the channel a few years ago and really enjoyed, despite its really sad and tragic story. Maybe this is going to be much the same. If you want to find out a little bit more about this, look down below in the description because the links and the details are going to be down there. I really hope you enjoy the video. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments at the end, like or dislike, alright? Here we go. We're starting Martha is Dead. Okay, the White Lady. According to an ancient legend, the lakes of the area haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. Mm. A lover's nightly tryst by the lake. So much hope and desire, but death, not love, was awaiting her. All right. Okay, interesting way to start. Oh, let's see. Okay, uh, so shall we look at the moon? Here we are. Ah, oh, what a beautiful moon tonight. <laughs> All right, anything else? Well, my love is not here yet, so I'll wait. My love is not here yet. I'll wait. <laughs> I like the fish in the background. Nice detail. Oh, You're here he is. Here at last. <laughs> He's floating. Should I be worried? Probably. Okay, so I can switch between these two now. Um, I don't think I can actually move the lover, but the young lady... Ah, here we are. What's going on? Why are you acting weird? Yeah, why are you floating? Oh, here we go. He can speak. Uh, you cheated on me or I know you kissed another. Let's go with that. I know you kissed another. Hmm. What's your response? Uh, I would never do that. I love you. I would never do that. I love you. Okay, and his retort is to kill. Okay, uh, yeah, that's the only choice I've got. I love you too much. Oh boy. The thought of you with another drives me insane. That's why you have to die. Right. <laughs> Strangling her and drowning her in the water, I think. Damn. What did I do to you? Well, there you go. That was short and sweet, wasn't it? In despair, the man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. Oh. All right. Uh, okay, so we've got the priest and the executioner here. So what can the priest do? Oh, give him his last rites. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That'll do. And the executioner here. He goes over here to execute, of course. Damn. Okay, so she was drowned. He was executed for it. Is there any more to the legend? They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Oh. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, takes the life of a young woman whenever events take her back to that sad day. Okay, so here I am, as the young woman. And I'm gonna sing! Okay. I'm a little bit worried about the strings that I can see on the left. Yeah, where are they going? They're going below the water by the looks of it. What else can I do? I'm gonna wash. Hmm, yeah, alright. I'd get out of there while you still can. Yeah, that's it. Wipe your brow. Uh, the white lady. Oh, here we are. I'm controlling those strings now. There she is. Grab. Oh, boy. Uh, sorry. You should have sang, you should have washed a little bit quicker. And that's the end of you. Ciao. I'm Julia. Julia Kay. I'm glad you are here. 
Nobody has visited me in ages. It's been years now. I must tell you my story, but I don't know where to begin. I enjoyed setting up cameras in the woods by the lake. My father created a device that attached to the cameras. All right. Make them take pictures at set intervals. Hmm. I was trying to photograph animals, or whatever else was in that damned place. Okay, so here we are. And there you go. I suppose this is how the game is meant to look for the most part. It's not all a puppet show. All right, so here we are. Okay. It's a very nice looking game. I saw that even looking at the puppet show at the very beginning. Everything's so detailed. And to be honest, was I the only one that was very impressed with their puppeteering work? Anyway, what we got here? Reel off the film. Reel off the film, that's it. That comes back. Open the camera. Uh huh. Remove the old roll of film. Mm hmm. All right, got the new one right here. So let's put that in. Put the new film in. Okay. Uh, push it down. Close the camera. Right, yeah, okay. Load the film. And then what? Activate the timer. Okay. <laughs> this is very complex. Almost ready. Now to bring the image into focus. Okay. And what exactly are we focusing on here? Down. All right. Oh, bloody hell. There's something floating on the surface of the water. Oh? If I frame it better, I might be able to see what it is. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. I can just about see something there. Oh, wait. Is that a body? There's a body in the water. What? Wow. Is that a person? I must help them. That's quite some camera, actually. I can't even see that from here, but... Right, go. What else are they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I can just about see them. They're, I don't know, like 50 feet away. Right. Here we go. Time for some heroics, I think. Let's go. Okay, we got some free control here. Uh, I think I'm too late. That's not Martha, is it? She hasn't died already, has she? Might be. Don't flip her over. Come on. Drag it ashore. I instantly noticed that the person was wearing one of my dresses. I was scared. I dragged that lifeless body as best as I could to the shore, trying not to drown myself. Only when I lifted her in my arms did I realize who she was. It was my sister. Right. My twin, a part of me. I think that is Martha. Dead. Impossible to comprehend. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do or to think. Okay. I have to stay calm. Wow. Okay. So, uh, what can we do? Martha is not dead. Uh, we're checking the pulse, but she it's looks not dead. She looks. She looks gone. It's not true. I think the white lady just claimed another victim. There's no need to worry. You sure? Oh. Everything is fine. Everything is not fine. Everything will be fine. Okay, what we got here? What was that? A, a necklace? I have to stay calm. <laughs> Martha. Martha. February That's it. 26th, 1923. Okay, so what? She's 21 or thereabouts? Okay. Is everything okay? Are you oh? hurt? Where's that coming from? What are you doing? Who are these people? Go, Eric, run. 
Okay. We got some help. My parents ran towards me. Ah. My mother hugged me. She, who detested me, was now cuddling me. Her oh. warmth filled me with life, and the pain became bearable. I felt protected. Oh, they're Martha, twins, right? Are you okay? Yeah. Me. Identical Speaking twins. Slowly in order to let me read her lips. She thinks she I'm Martha. Was deaf. She thought I was Martha. Martha I didn't was deaf. Want the moment to fade. Okay. So I meekly nodded my head. <laughs> I didn't realize I had done something that couldn't be undone. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, that would be awkward. To pretend to be Martha. Forever. So you'd have to pretend to be deaf forever? Is that right? What? What? Uh, uh, <laughs> what an awkward situation! Oh god! What? Wait! What, what? What's this? Oh god! I was just thrown in here. I? No, Martha. Martha. Martha has found. Has lost. Martha has lost uh, her. Martha has lost her life, her soul, her, her, her life? No. I, I was doing so well. Okay, but Martha has lost her soul, I suppose. Yeah, okay. You just gotta run down the right path. Her soul. Here we go, it's on the left. That's it. Martha has lost her soul. Is that her? Entering the water? Did the white lady come and grab her? Oh, there's more. I, 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 I what? I will st uh, stole. I stole my, uh, or I stole her identity or life. I'm kind of both, right? Identity. I stole her identity. Why did I do that? Just for that moment of comfort? I, I didn't want to correct my mum. Oh man. Oh wow, look at all that blood. What the hell? I wasn't there before. Okay. Wait, the... The body's still here? I don't really know what's going on here, to be honest. Damn. What the? What are we do? Oh, oh, what the hell are we doing? Oh, oh this is gruesome. Oh, I'm, I'm sort of physically stealing her identity here. I'm slicing around her face. Oh my god. This looks horribly realistic, honestly. Oh. I'm impressed and I'm, I'm horrified at the same time. Oh god. Oh no. But go on, I, I have to see this. Oh shit! Just peeling her face off? Ah! Ah, oh, this game is not holding back. So I have her face. Her face that I... I'm, I'm gonna wear like a mask. But I don't need to do that. We're identical, aren't we? Jesus Christ. That was gruesome. Surely that didn't happen. That was some nightmare or something, right? That was a weird vision. It was just a dream. Oh, yes. A horrible dream. Good, that good. That horrendous woman and the face of my sister. I wish all of this was a dream and my sister is just sleeping in her bed. Instead, her bed is empty, and this is reality. Hmm. So she actually did die. She did drown. 
Oh boy. Okay. Uh, we've got a photo over here. Who's this? this oh, is, is that us? This me at the festival of the patron saint. Right. It was only a few months ago, and now... Damn. Martha had asked for a picture of me to put in this frame. She wanted me to do one of those expressions of mine that made her laugh. Okay. Expressions that she couldn't quite imitate. She used to say that those were the signs of my soul. Can a photo capture the soul? Can I capture Martha's soul? Well, you're going to have to try if you want to go ahead with this lie. Here we are in the room then. Right. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Scary fairy tales. Everything seems to be scary lately. Yet everything here is so beautiful and bright. Damn, yeah. I, I don't know about having those in a kid's room, but fair enough, fair enough. What was it? Space to see the points of interest. Okay, so there's various things that we can have a look at by the looks of it. Uh, something up here? Oh, that's locked because we're in the demo mode. Okay. Uh, what about this? This isn't. Martha's wardrobe? Martha's clothes. To me, wearing them will be like having her with me. Mummy will also be happy to see them. Or right. I could wear my clothes in the other wardrobe. Well, we're going along with this lie, right? So we're going to have to wear her clothes? Okay. I can't believe we're going through with this. This is... This is kind of surreal, honestly. Uh, okay. There you go. Yeah, I got changed. Um... Alright, more illustrations. Even more scary fairy tales. Yeah. Creepy. But nowhere near as creepy as what I just did in that dream. That was really gruesome. That was crazy. Right, uh, what we got here? What's this? This is Martha's trinket box. Ah. It could contain something that will help to figure out what happened. Hmm. Looks like it might be locked. I do see a little keyhole down there. Um. Okay. So, all right, yeah, this is the date. It's July 18th. <laughs> Day before my birthday. Of course, I wasn't born in 1944, but you get what I mean. And this would be my trinket box? I always keep my trinket box locked. Right. Uh, do you know where your key is, or Martha's key? What we got down here? What's this? It's a photo. Oh, gosh, if Mummy sees this picture, she'll throw it away for sure. Oh? It's me and Lapo. I want to see him as soon as possible, so we can mourn Martha's death together. Boyfriend and girlfriend, possibly? I'm getting that kind of vibe, anyway. Uh, okay, I can't have a look at that picture down there because it's the demo, what else? Ah, uh, it's all locked because it's the demo mode! Ah, oh, man! Okay, well here's Julia's wardrobe, my wardrobe, really. I'm already dressed. But I'm already dressed, fair enough. Okay, um... What we got here? The bag? Everything I need is always in my bag. Okay. Alright, so, well, let's see what we got inside. Okay, Julia's bag. Right, isn't it a bit weird that I'm carrying around Julia's bag and not Martha's? But, uh, whatever. Uh, sure. Okay, so, looks like there's a map as well. The key or the map? Well, let's have a look at the map, shall we? Okay. Alright. Pretty big area by the looks of it. Oh, and would that be the lake? And this down here? Is this the dock that I ran and jumped off of trying to save my sister? I think so. Man, alright. What we got down here? Oh, creepy. Okay. And there's an album, a log, objectives as well. Things to do, okay. I must put one of my photos in this empty frame. I always said to Martha I would, but never did. She would have liked it so much. Fair enough. Right. I suppose I'm going to need to find the camera at some point, but okay, all right, let's close this up. Uh, and and then this... The key to my trinket box. Ah, I see. Right, uh, so it would be this one, not Martha's. This is going to get so confusing. <laughs> okay. Here is my diary. All right. Well, let's take a look. Yeah, this is so unbelievably detailed. July 16th, 1944. There's something creepy about the woods. Mm. Every time I'm at the lake, I get a strange feeling. Maybe it's the legend of the white lady playing tricks on me. I get weird ideas. I think that there is this presence. 
then I think I'm just being crazy. Anyway, crazy or not, I want to take some pictures. I'm not scared. In fact, I'd say I'm excited. I've made arrangements with Martha. She's coming to the lake with me tomorrow to set up two new cameras with timers, and we'll see what we can photograph. Not before a good swim, of course. To be honest, Martha doesn't like photography all that much, and recently she's gone off swimming too. But she does like spending time with me by teasing me. Then, when she gets bored, she disappears into her books, and I do my own thing. We feel right when we're together. Hmm, right. Well, you're more together than ever in some strange, bizarre way. Uh, is that it? I don't know if there's another page. Uh, well, let's close this up. I suppose we'll just add to this as we progress through the story. I'll be right there. Oh. I'm just going upstairs to call Martha down for breakfast. Oh, that's my mum, isn't it? Right. Fine, but I'm not sure we should let her sleep all day. What do you think? What have we got here? What did you say? Okay, okay, I won't wake her up. I'll, I'll just turn on her light. So when she wakes up, she'll know when to come down for breakfast. They really think I'm Martha and I can't hear them. Yeah, of course. I need to be careful not to talk or I will be in serious trouble. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, can we get out of here? We might be able to. I'm actually wondering if that key that I've got opens this as well. Do I still have it? I don't think it's going to work, is it? Oh, it might! Ah, it does! Okay, so what's she got? This is not the right key. Ah. I must get her key if I want to know what's inside her trinket box. Right. And where does she keep her bag? Hmm. Well, maybe we'll find it when we leave. Something to keep in mind, I suppose. But right, here we go. Is this our first day pretending to be Martha? Pretending to be deaf? Pretending we can't hear anything? All this stuff that's blocked in demo mode. It's a bit of a shame, really. But, uh, yeah, it looks like there's going to be plenty to interact with in the full game. Okay, so we can run. This looks really, really good. I mean, it is just... It's dangerously close to being photorealistic. Martha's breakfast is ready. We can go. Yes, yes. It's getting late. Did you leave the newspaper for Martha? You know how much she likes reading it. Yes, Irena. It's on the table, can't you see? And that camera? Are you leaving it there? Yes, Irena. Can't you leave it there for a few more days? Do you mind? It was for Yulia. I will take it away soon. I, I promise. The sword makes me so sad. Seeing it there is as if... I don't know how to explain it. All right, all right, all right. But let's go now. We have too much to do. We can't stay here all day talking. Right. And off they go. And I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. Mummy is right, though. Martha always read everything. It's me who will now read the newspaper instead. They'll right. be out all day. The funeral preparations will take them a long time. I bet. Everything is more complex with the war. Over the next few days, I will see little to nothing of them. Hmm. Maybe that's for the best, as I, you know, acclimatize myself with my new life. So, the objectives? Yep, okay. Well, it looks like we've got a new one. It's the newspaper. I should read the newspaper, because I'm Martha, and Martha likes to do that. So, l'Unione del Popolo. That's the Union of the People, I think. Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. Hmm. Martha was not killed by politics or war. No. She was killed by something much closer and much less clear. I will find out the truth. Yes, we will investigate the White Lady, I suppose. Uh, okay, so what we got here? The... Oh, the I, I'm learning a little bit of Italian with Duolingo, so I think that's the the, the German defense uh, all on the East Front or something like that. Let's see. Firm bulwark, even in the skies. 159 aircraft of the Germanic defense shot down in 24 hours. Major Russian operation northwest of Jassy. Hmm. Enemy convoy lost in the Mediterranean. Two destroyers and six merchant vessels sunk. Okay, what do we got down here? Something about me, or rather, 
My sister, who's died, right? Wink, wink. Julia K. Distressed but supported by faith. Erene E. the mother, Erich the father, and Martha the sister sadly announce Julia's passing. Mm. The funeral will take place in La Romola, Thursday, July 20th at 9.30pm, departing from the property of the deceased. Okay. It looks like there's something down here too. First improvements in food registration. Okay. Bread rations increased by 50 grams per day as of April 20th. A kilo more every month of soup ingredients. Hmm. Reforms to the treatment of agricultural workers and an unexpected distribution of jam. That sounds nice. An unexpected distribution of jam. I do love my jam. Right, well, you know, we've read all the headlines at the very least. I don't think we want to get into the nitty gritty right now, do we? So, there you go. I'm Martha. I read the newspapers. Uh, ah, this is the camera, isn't it? Okay, well, I mean, I'm not meant to have much of an interest in this, but I'm still going to take it. For Julia, to take more and more photos. Dad. Right. I'll just put that in my pocket. Daddy recently became a general in the German army. Mm. He used to take pictures on the front lines, but now he gives me the materials to take photographs instead. Okay. I can verify that the camera is still working by taking a photo. All right. Um, let's try the camera then, shall we? I could photograph a sparrow. There are so many of them out here. Wow, look at this landscape. This really does look amazing, there doesn't it? There might be birds around the little wall in front of the house. I always put crumbs on it for them. Over here somewhere? Um, okay. Well, hang on, let's see. Uh, so it's... It's Q? Right. Oh, here we are. Okay, so this is Julia's camera. Right, it's a 1940 rotocord with 6 centimeter film. Okay, some photos will have hidden elements, and they will progress the game's story. Alright. That icon will appear and become clearer the closer you are. Okay, so E to see the camera and any fitted attachments. Well, let's let's observe the camera, shall we? Okay, it looks like a camera. <laughs> let's stop observing. Um, okay. Alright. Here we are, then. So, I'm about to take my first picture. To simplify the simulation, the picture preview displays the settings as you change them on the camera. Good. Good. Okay. So, there's rotation, height, inclination, uh, adjustments as well. Exposure? Wow. Okay. Um, extras? Sure. Let's see. What sort of film it's going to be? Alright. Wow. And then it's space to shoot. So the focus, that was over here. Okay, now it's in focus. The subject's framed, it's in focus, it's properly exposed. Shoot. Excellent. I've taken the picture, now it's straight to the dark room in the cellar to print it. Okay, alright, I guess my first one was shit, but I was just trying to test it out. Okay, um, right, dark room in the cellar. Well, let's go back inside. It's a big place, isn't it? And what a beautiful day. Man, this game looks amazing. <laughs> Alright. Um, well, yeah, I, where's that then? Where's the cellar? Somewhere down here, maybe? Ah, that's locked because it's demo mode. Uh, this way? Down here? This is looking promising. Yeah, this is very, very promising, this game. I think I might be playing the full version when it comes out. Ah, here we are. Here's the dark room. Okay, well, let's forget about that first image that I took, but uh, that second one might be worth something. And what have we got here? Something for the camera? A lens and a roll of infrared film. Okay. They can photograph what the naked eye cannot see. Oh, really? Such as White Ladies of the Lake? Okay. We've got the trays down here. Oh, okay, I guess I won't be going through the entire process because it's just the demo. I can use this, though. Alright. This is reminding me of the medium a little bit, honestly. I think that's the last time that I had to develop a photo like this. <laughs> uh, Alright, okay. 
I think that was the last sheet. Um, right, yes, okay. So the enlarge is an optical instrument that allows you to process photographic paper, which I, I just took out. Um, for the sake of simplicity, yeah, okay. A, a lot of aspects have been omitted, it seems. But uh, yeah, that's how you would do it. But in this game, you'll find your rolls of film already developed and ready for printing. Good stuff, okay. So it's not going to be that first one. It's going to be this one here, isn't it? Okay, so we can move about the paper, adjust the enlargement, and adjust the focus. Let's see, so the card position's okay, it's out of focus though, so... There you go. That'll do. How's that? Alright. Again, the process has been automated, it's been simplified and made faster than what happens in real life. Good. Good. Because I don't want to wait around here for, you know, ages and ages, waiting for things to develop. But there you go, alright. Okay, well now I suppose it should go in the trays. Oh, so we can use them in the demo, I think. Or, or well, I don't know, immerse the paper in the developer and the image will appear. Alright. Uh, so it needs to go in the green zone. If it's too early or too late, the picture will be ruined and I'll have to print it again. Okay. Well, that's not the best picture, honestly, so it won't be such a loss. Okay, so it's space. Let's get the timing right. What is it, like 10 seconds? Thereabouts. That'll do. <laughs> it's alright game, you, you don't have to keep stating that this has been simplified and there's a few steps been taken out and... Right, okay, cool. There you go, alright. I can print each shot as many times as I like. Photograph. It seems that the camera works perfectly. Good stuff, okay. I don't like that I got the outline on the edge there, but uh, sure, right. Let's put that one in the album, shall we? All right, well, there you go. I suppose that's going to play a, a big focus in the game. I should go to the lake by going through the woods. Oh? Maybe the important events I should know are right there. Okay. Go to the lake through the woods. That's quite a long way away to the east, isn't it? Demo mode, demo mode, right, right. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll I'll fully explore this and I'll, I'll fully go through all of this in the main game when I get around to it, whenever it actually does come out, because I think, you know... At this point, I'm, I'm pretty invested. Alright, so... Let's see, this way? Oggi Bonsi. Oh boy. On the day of Saint Alexis, the battle rages in the city tormented by Anglo-American bombing. There she is. Our Lady of Carmel, a company of the Fauciam Regiment, counter-attacked yesterday, I I saw... forcing the French to retreat. To Piazza del Mercato. Making me the situation is currently yeah, under control. Yeah, that'll be it. Right, okay. Let's, uh, let, let's take a look at the map. Ah, okay, we might be at the wrong side of the house, really. But, yeah, we want to get on this path. And then we'll take one of the many routes through over the river. All the way down there to the dock. Where the game started, I suppose. Yeah. Um, through here? Nah, that would be too easy, wouldn't it? Okay, well, um, let's head back, shall we? Let's see. Anything on the shelves? No. No, no light reading for me. Piano playing? Ah, well, <laughs> there might be a little bit of music in the full game, but not right now. Well, maybe I could just get out through here and make my way to the path. Okay, so, right, this is kind of where it splits up, isn't it? So, let's have a look at the map. Um... I guess I could take that path. It's going to be a little bit longer. I should probably stick to the right, though, honestly. Oh, actually, what does that say? Oh, bloody demo mode. Not again. <laughs> There's so much that's blocked off. All right. Well, let's just continue. Let's go this way. Over there to the right. No, I don't think so. Let, let's, let's stick to the path, right? Ah, a helmet. Well, I, I guess I, I could take a photo of this. Let's actually see if we can get a good photo this time. So, Q, left click, look through the viewfinder. Actually look at it. Okay, let's see. Subject's frame. It's, it's in focus over here, actually. It was. Yeah, that'll do, right? Yeah, that's a good one. German soldiers. Hmm. Daddy ordered patrols to be carried out near the house, but how could they have lost a helmet? Right. God only knows. Is that like a hole in it? 
just above that, like insignia as well. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe someone was shot. All right. Well, let's move on. We're still heading towards the lake, right? Over the bridge. That's right. Oh, Ooh. Is that German? Ooh. Oh, yeah. We've got the soldiers. You might want to go back and grab that helmet, just for your own protection. What is going on here? What are the soldiers doing? It's dangerous, I know, but I want to follow them and see what's happening. Do you? I think, I think you should run back to the house, quite honestly, but... All right. The gunfight in the woods. Um, right. Uh, <laughs> I'm feeling very, very exposed here. Maybe I should just run. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't see the soldiers anymore. Is it? Oh, oh shit. What was that? The grenade? Okay. Well, I can't go that way. That's blocked by demo mode. Through here? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Oh, his legs have been blown off. Holy shit. Oh, God, please, no. Lapo, my dear friend. Oh, the guy in the photo. What have they done to you? Oh, man. Oh, his hand as well. Guy, he's, he's, he's done for. Right, okay, so what are we looking at here? The, the armband? Yeah. Oh, well, there's a note too. Was the symbol of what you believed in. At least that is left of you. Okay. Hey, wait, are you are you tying that around your neck or something? Are you wearing that? That might not be the wisest move, but uh, okay. There's a note. Dear Julia. To me. Are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? A little bit, yeah. Everyone calls you Martha now, right? Hmm. I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself to that fact. Right. <laughs> oh, shit! Was that a shot? Oh, damn. I was not expecting that. You shot a girl, you moron! Shit, shit, shit! What do we do now? Look what's around her neck. She's one of them. It had to be done. She shouldn't have worn She's it. She's General Erich Kahr's daughter, you fucking idiot! She was that poor sort's girlfriend! Oh shit! We're really fucked now! Shit, let's go! But... But she's alive! She's dying! See where you hit her? She's probably already dead! We've got to run now, or we'll be dead too! Jeez. So I'm going to live through that. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> I guess there is going to be a main game after this demo, right? So I'm going to have to. Oh. Oh, hello. Two sisters were destined to die. Julia, the first sister, and Martha, the second. On Julia's day of departing, identical twins stood before me impossible to tell apart. They questioned my presence, since they were still so young. Julia must come with me, I demanded. But they both claimed to be Martha. <laughs> I explained that Martha's fate was soon to be the same, and their games were useless. I didn't have time for it. The war was keeping me busy. I bet it was. But they didn't concede. And instead kept insisting. Can we follow you together? No. Impossible. Are you sure Martha will die too? Nothing is certain in wartime. What if the wrong person went with you? Then you would have cheated death. One would die unjustly. And the other would simply be delaying her fate. Hmm. They discussed amongst themselves, then hugged before one of them came forward. 
She said in a determined, almost threatening manner. I guessed it was Martha sacrificing herself, giving more time to her sister. But I stayed silent, not to reveal their failed deception. No one lies to the face of their own death. So I asked how their choice was reached. We drew lots by throwing a medallion, she said quietly. They had trusted in fate. Oh, how naive they were. They knew fate plays by its own rules, which is true, but it is also my ally. Fate never would have allowed the wrong girl to follow me. In that case, my work was done. She must have been Julia. However, little to my knowledge at the time, that blasted medallion had the same name engraved on both sides. Martha's. Oh, right. So, my first assumption was correct. They were too damn smart and had fooled both fate and me. Hmm. One thing is for sure. I'll put things back where they belong. I will correct my ignorance and give fate back its blindfold. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right. So I've got to watch out for the Grim Reaper as well, have I? Alright. And that, it seems, is where the Martha is Dead demo comes to an end. What a demo. Okay, I, I, just a short sample of what's to come, I suppose. I, I still don't know exactly what the gameplay is going to be like. Maybe it's going to be much like the Town of Light. For the most part, it's going to be a walking simulator, reading notes, and I guess in this case, taking pictures, just experiencing the events around me, and, and just being a bystander in a lot of it. But, yeah, I mean... I, <laughs> Peeling off my sister's face, that's a scene that has really stuck with me. There's a, there's a lot of complex photography that you can do in this game as well, it looks like. And the game does look photorealistic. There's already so much polish in this. So yeah, this is one that I'm going to look out for. This is one that I'm probably going to play the full version of, quite honestly. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Weird. Yeah, why are you floating? And his retort is to kill. Okay, uh, yeah, that's the only choice I've got. I'm a little bit worried about the strings that I can see on the left. Yeah, where are they going? Why did I do that? Just for that moment of comfort? I, I didn't want to correct my mum. What are we doing? Oh, oh, what the hell are we doing? Oh, I'm impressed and I'm, I'm horrified at the same time. Just peeling her face off? Ah! Can I capture Martha's soul? Well, you're gonna have to try if you want to go ahead with this lie. Uh, and, and then this? The key to my trinket box. Ah, I see. Right. Uh, and so it would be this one, not Martha's. This is gonna get so confusing. <laughs> what do we got down here? Something about me, or rather, my sister, who's died, right? Wink, wink. <laughs> it's alright, game. You, you don't have to keep stating that this has been simplified and there's a few steps been taken out and... Oh. I want to follow them and see what's happening. Do you? I think I think you should run back to the house, quite honestly, but Oh, his legs have been blown off. Holy shit. Reconcile myself to that fact. Right. Oh shit! Was that just shot? <laughs>